This project is one that I've been working on for five plus years. With a very small team, people who have been a part of the journey and understand how important this is for me because of my fans. some type of connection with the people if it's just a bunch of pictures it's like go to my Instagram we've had all these pictures taken of us but there's a thing behind the design a, yeah but I also want people to feel who I am through the pictures I do still think a couple of these like fashion shots are important because they also represent different times in my career, mm -hmm. different milestones, and you can kind of see the evolution before your eyes. Right. But there also needs to be the other side of, of the curtain that people don't get to see. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we trade shoes! That is is <laughs> The narrative behind this book is layered and complex and it's not about one thing and we wanted to bring that complexity into the making of the book. We have the main pages where you have the, the pictures but then at the same time we introduced a lot of tippins to have anecdotes. So for example, she was in Hong Kong airport here and we found this really lovely series of images with her walking with her team. We realized something's going on here and she's actually swapping shoes. And they were just like running through the airport laughing. And we thought that was quite a cute moment to highlight. And we decided to call it a Cinderella story. And then she wrote it herself actually. And this is, we have her handwriting spread out the book. Early on, we kind of decided that a strong typographic element needed to be part of this. These are some early sketches that eventually led to the final typographic solution that we found, which is the now quite well-known uh, text on the cover of the book with the strike through. But the kind of the other main element was the disruptors, which is events that repeat every year, like Coachella and the Grammy Awards and the Diamond Ball. And we didn't want to kind of repeat the same event. Uh, throughout the book, we decided to group them together so they could be used as moments uh, for the reader to experience a different kind of visual. Rihanna was also interested in showing the energy of that day or of that moment. And we were interested in having a multiplicity of images that kind of invoke that energy. to put this out just so you get, get sense the for that. Oh my god. Um, Wait, this, this is literally like sick. Are no. you going to make a stand to hold right, that? Right, right. Rihanna has this like amazing ability to make somebody that's listening to her music feel very intimate, like they know her. So we really like this idea that it's her hands holding the book next to you, almost like you're sitting together reading the book together. Damn, when it sorry. comes to the hands, like <laughs> the sort of slimy chartreuse color, feels like it's a very color from now. And then Drippy in the Brain, for us, I think felt more like this is more based on the artwork we've created before. Um, black and gold felt very like fashion, luxury, and and still like our artwork and still like it made sense with the book. It's, I think that's how it's gonna feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And the quality of the interior yeah. images are... You don't want to compete with the photos either. Like, I mean, with like the slime green on the stand in there, that makes That's sense because cool. it disappears it as does. soon as you open the book. Mm -hmm. This is like actually has to work with the cool, with like black and white photo mm -hmm. and like rad color palettes. I mean, that's an awesome palette. This right is this color, right? Yeah. And we started with sketches, then we moved on to sculpting and material development. And then uh, from that, we went into full productions. And we've been working on this project for like a year. But she's the coolest person. So nice. And like really involved and really cared about all of the making. And so it was pretty much the best possible thing that could happen. My only concern right now is, is this going to have like fingerprints and stuff in it? Will it last the durability? So um, I like the leather more so. Yeah, than the suede. The suede. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure, leather is the way to go. Mm -hmm. And then with the black, you've got this gold. You've got the gold in the base. It's going to be really elegant. Um, That's the side view. Right. So it'll be angled this way. If yes. It's black, right? you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, also I'm down with that. It's a nice color combo. Yeah. To be honest. But let's see it with the vermiculation mixed here. And how does it look juxtaposed? Against the... The vermiculated? Yeah. It looks good. Sexy as hell, isn't it? Oh, wow. Woo! We got to stop, 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 stop. We got to bring it. 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 of me over the years. I'm, I'm here today because of you, because of your support, your enthusiasm. And tonight is really special because to have a piece of art like this launch in the Guggenheim, I mean, thank you. But I'm so happy, guys, because I want to shout you all out for making this possible. I'm so happy you're here to celebrate with me. And now that we got the party started, 